wow, that was kind of fast and it's really simple. I like that. Fast and simple, that's a good combination if you want to add flash to your solos, something exciting every once in a while, ejecting something a little, a little impressive is not a bad thing. As long as you don't solely uh, focus on that. Well, actually you can if you want to. Who am I to tell you what to do or not? Anyways, we're going to learn this flashy lick today. We're in a minor pentatonic context, which is great because that means that we can use that particular idea in a lot of situations. The minor pentatonic scale is your friend in so many musical genres that it's not even funny. Well, it kind of is. I don't know. Anyways, let me show you exactly how it's done. A lot of uh, pull-offs in that flashy lick. I'll play it one more time for you just for fun, and then I'll meet you in the close-up. <laughs> Today's idea is in D minor pentatonic. We're going to use the first position, so between frets 10 and 13. From the low E string to the high E string, we have frets 10, 13, 10, 12, 10, 12 again, 10, 12 again, 10, 13, and 10, 13. A very simple idea. It's a sequence. It repeats itself over and over. It's very usable in a lot of different contexts, and it adds some, some um, interest and some excitement to your leads. It's fairly easy to use. We're going to use some pull-offs. So a pull-off is playing a note, in this case the high E string 13th fret, and releasing it to a lower note, in this case high E string 10th fret. And you really need to pluck with the finger you're pulling off from. You need to pluck that string like that instead of just lifting it. If you just lift it, the second note is going to be lower in volume. You don't want that. You really want both notes to be loud and clear and clear like that. So that's the pull off. And very, very simple. We're simply going to pull off from a high note to a low note on strings one, two, three. That's it. So get used to that. And once you have that, we're just gonna repeat it from the second string. And then the third the fourth. And then we'll land on the fourth string, 12th fret, which is a D. So all together at a slow speed, it would be something like this. My right hand, as I'm attacking each set of strings, is doing some kind of alternate picking thing. So I'm starting with a down stroke, down, up, down, and then I'm alternating that. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down. But if you're not doing it exactly that way, that's okay, as long as each note is equal in value as far as the timing of those notes. And this is in 16th triplets, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six. And you can gradually increase the speed of that. Make sure that every note really sounds clean and um, as loud as the last note you played. As you're playing this in a musical context where you're not actually working on the lick, you might find it useful to start each set of six notes, each starting point of each idea with a downstroke. So you're still alternating down, up, down, but anytime you're starting a new idea, you're, you're attacking it with a downstroke. So it'll be down, up, down, down, up, down, down. That adds some consistency to your rhythm. And that's going to help over a backing track just stay in focus and um, stay in rhythm as you're playing it. I hope you liked today's idea. And if you did, show us with a like, subscribe, comment, and check out guitarcontrol.com because they've got a lot more videos. They've got something for everyone, whether you're a beginner, an intermediate player, or an advanced player. They've got it for you. So check out their website, guitarcontrol.com. Subscribe to this YouTube channel because more videos are coming your way. Until next time, practice well.